Hi there and thank you for spending some time with me today. If you're new then hello and welcome. My name's Tanya and I'm from Tati Treasures. So it's the end of May um, so I thought I would show you what I've bought this month. I know this is the second um, video I've done like this this month but I thought if I get it that to do it towards the end of the month then I can do it about you know what I've bought that month so here we go let's have a look I'll start off with the books so I've not had this book before I have seen a few people using it I think when I looked at it before it had um, skyrocketed in price that's the thing with um, with books definitely on Amazon the prices go very up and down um, at the moment can't get my hands on uh, Edith Holden because she's gone up to like 35 pounds um, you know sometimes you can pick them up for five pounds um, and then I've seen them as high as 60, 70 pounds. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I tend to, when I see a book on Amazon or see <coughs> somebody use a book, um, <coughs> I put it in my basket and just keep an eye on, on the price. So I perhaps go in a couple of times a week and, and recheck the prices. And as soon as they drop, I will get the ones that, that I wanted. Anyway, enough of that waffle. So, this is the Concise Guide in Colour of Herbs. You know, I've had a lot of the Concise Guide books. Uh, I love them. I think they're really good. So, this is by, is it Hamlin? <laughs> I love that on the spine. So, it's a, it's a lovely size. It is six and three quarter inches by four and a half nice thick thick paper it's got some good good weight to it so that's just you know all your waffle in the beginning Sh telling you how you can use herbs and then we get into the into the actual plates so we have the picture on one side and then the writing on the other side so you can use every single picture which is brilliant so with these size books I think I make a lot of like notebooks and use them as, as covers also great for fussy cutting around or if you take the actual book to pieces, uh, you can use them as pages in your journal. So I would probably take the whole book apart, decide what I would use as actual covers, and then decide what I want to use for journal pages. So like that, it's it's really pretty, but you know I don't think you want to root on the front of on the front of your notebook. So that would be better as as a journal page or fussy cutted. But phew, I don't think I'd like to fussy cut fussy cut that. So let's have a, a quick flick flick through. I like how you got the sketch as well. Common onion. Like that page. Calamaya. Bearberry. Deadly Nightshade. See, I like that one. That would probably make a nice cover. So, yeah, it's absolutely packed solid. 
do love the smell of hawthorn. Um, <clears throat> I've been going walking most days and all the hawthorns are out and you get a lovely um, blast of smell when, when you walk past them. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this one. I think it was three, four pounds with with delivery. I'll say there's loads of stuff in there. And then I think I'm saving these types of covers for when I'm brave enough to to um sew some signatures into them. So that's that one, the concise guide in colour to herbs. And then we've got this one let's see if i'm in frame yeah let me just move my tea i'm just gonna have a drink so this is the field guiding color to butterflies and moths and it's by octopus So there's lots of writing in, in the beginning and then some some black and white images of the cycle of, of butterflies and moths. Gosh, lots of pages of um of writing before you start start going. So then we've got these wonderful plates. So there's lots of butterflies and and caterpillars. So again I would either use the whole page or I would fussy cut them. Probably wouldn't make these as, as book uh, covers, not notebook covers anyway. It's um, eight and a half inches high and it is six and a quarter inches wide. So yeah, some, a lot of fussy cutting here. Just gonna pretend I can't hear the dog. <laughs> Can you do the same, please? So yeah, lo loads of fussy cutting, and I am ready for some some more butterflies. So again, I would I would take it all to bits and probably put it in different folders, a fussy cut folder, and pages that I would actually want to use in a journal. Yeah, it's absolutely jam-packed and again you've got the pictures on one side so you can use every single page and there's a lot of pages over 300 pages they've so probably got about 280 um, picture pages so that is that I think again that was around the same same price between three and five pound anyway really good good but what's the cover like inside oh wow it's a bit grungy but that's beautiful that's lovely so that is that one now this one and I've ummed and odd for, for about a year over it because I knew that it was it didn't have many many pages and I just thought oh is it you know is it going to be worth worth having because there's so little pages and I saw um teal and tattered use it and she did some like soft cover tn type journals with the pages and it is stunning there's not a lot of them but it is absolutely beautiful and there's loads of bits to to fussy cut too i've not even said so it's england is a garden a wayfarer's companion Catherine hamilton let's have a look at that it's a nice color so yeah it's really thin i think it said oh 47 illustrated pictures so this is like 10 inches high by seven and a half I might I think that's as good as I can get it view wise so 
so look at these absolutely beautiful i love how you've got got the sketch bit and then the you know as if well it is as if she sketched it and then started started painting it in and you've got a little bit of i don't know if they're yeah, it's just a little bit of information. I didn't know if there was like poems at, at first, but they're not. That's beautiful, Wisteria. I do really like Wisteria. My mum's got, um, I wanted to say a gondola. <laughs> That's a boat, isn't it? <laughs> Is it a pagoda? Um, and she's got all Wisteria on that, and it's absolutely stunning. And butterflies love it. Oh, it's called the Painted Lady of the Cotswolds, which is s strange because I've obviously just said about butterflies loving it, and there is a Painted Lady. So yeah, absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at this! Oh, that looks like somewhere that I go. I'm saying there's a bench here <laughs> where I go. There is, but yeah, that really reminds me of somewhere I go. Bluebell's one of my favourites. Nothing better than looking at and seeing a, a sea full of um, bluebells. Yeah, beautiful. So, yeah, unless <laughs> you're kind of making them as covers, um, sure you could be clever and get some, some tags out of them. Um, and then obviously fussy cutting i suppose something like this you could you could do it in in sections so have have that and then this bit and then this bit i think you just have to think think a little bit at the box well at, at my box anyway <laughs> that's beautiful yeah and this this normally is is always quite quite cheap but um, I'm guessing a lot of people will see that it's not got many pages and, and not, not bother. Oh, foxglove. Um, my foxgloves have just started growing, actually. I've got a picture. I'm going to put it up on on Patreon um, to show it in, in my garden because it looks absolutely beautiful. And obviously, it's, soon, and it's the same colour as, as this one. So it always reminds me of, of Edith Holden. It's a bit of a nudge saying, get some Edith Holden stuff done. Hey, cornflower blue. Oh, look at this blossom. So, I mean, this would be lovely cut out and used as a, as a corner tuck. Same as this, really. You could have it going up your page and, and have it as a, as a tuck. Yeah, I think I'll be, I won't hoard it as such, but I do like to let books sit for a while before I start cutting into them. I do like a, a few flick throughs before, before I do. Oh, look at this. The colours are absolutely beautiful. I don't know how they're looking in, in the camera, but they're, they're so soft and really really yummy some lovely poppers i'm sorry i don't want to miss the page sweet peas they smell beautiful look at this cottage watermelon Yeah, you can. I was just seeing if this had got strings in, and it has, so it'll be taken apart pretty easy because a lot of them are in the actual crease, so you would need to lift lift the pages out. Really like that um, picture, but um, yeah, it's heel and tattered kind of you know, they must have been quite thin, thin journals. That would look really nice. 
I love how this the the buildings as well in the background. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Oh, there's still more. Oh, my favourite lavender. Look at this colour here. I wish I could paint. I really do. Mind you, I say that I've I've not probably tried since I was at school. So who knows what talents I've... That's beautiful. I do think she did a cover with this one. Um, yeah, I could have developed these talents and, and not know about it. But it must be beautiful to, to be able to produce something like that. So that is that one. And one more book. Now this is another one that I have... has been in and out my basket so many times now I was introduced to this book by Izzy uh, Izzy, Izzy Busy Bees um, and oh it must be what nearly two years ago yeah it must be and she used this book in some nature journals that she did and I think that her mother actually knows this this person I know she told a, a story about it and stuff um and yeah I don't know why I've never bought it I think because I've always thought just like florals butterflies and that and I thought oh I don't know how I'm going to be able to use these pages so, but I'm so glad that I've got it. Now, this is one of those books. You can either pick it up really, really cheap or it's really, really expensive. So, um, yeah, you do need to keep your eyes out. So, it's The Undercliff, a sketchbook of Exmouth, Lyme Regis, Nature Reserve. And it's by Elaine Franks. So, a big, big book, um, ten and a half by eight. It's the colour like under the dust jacket. Beautiful forest green. Yeah, beautiful. Like I say, I am saving all my covers for for when I'm brave enough. That's nice paper. So this has got quite a glossy, a glossy feel. But it's not it's not shiny, um, but yeah, it's got got a little bit of glass. Oh wow! Oh, this is lovely. So it's a little bit like a diary, or at least you know, like field field notes and little sketches, and then some watercolors. Yeah, I love this already. Oh, look at this. Oh, green finch. And then you've got all the tiny components. <laughs> Even the grasshopper looks attractive. That is fabulous. Yeah, so I think this is going to be... And it's probably why I didn't buy it when I... You know, when she showed it two years ago, because I really wouldn't have known where to start with with a book book like this. Um, it's not something that you can just go through and just fussy cut out. Um, can do all different things with that. Oh, this is beautiful. I do think I will have to read this. And I love the writing, even though it's a really modern font. I think I've got that font on, on the computer. I um, don't know if it's the gothic one or something. And I do like that, that font. Look at this. Oh, fabulous. Oh. Wow. I, I really love the little drawings around it. Yeah, I don't like that one. <laughs> and then she obviously talks about about the place and and the things that she's seen. Oh yeah, this is stunning. Yeah, I'm sure you don't want to 
to look at every single page but i'm sorry <laughs> i do save these i had you know a quick zip through but um yeah i thought i'd save the actual looking round until till i film yeah beautiful so let's have let's have a flick i think um izzy used one of those in i don't know if she used it as a journal cover but um yeah, I remember them by being one of the first-ish videos that, that I ever watched. And I did say, uh, well, I said in a comment is it the other day, I'm actually watching her nature series again. It must be the fourth or fifth time I've watched it. Um, and I might do some of the projects from it. I think be before I, it was a bit bit too too much for me but um yeah i'm confident enough now that i could could follow through look at that the colors are amazing yeah and i'd not know oh it doesn't go in order i just saw the date then and i did think it was going going in order it doesn't but um yeah it's it's dated so it is it is very much like a diary fabulous so yeah you, you would have to think about each page and and what you wanted to do with it and obviously with a book like this you've always got the which side do i use um quandary my favorite bird well i'll say that I don't know if I love blue tits or goldfinches, bestest. <laughs> but um, yeah, I do love them. We do, we do see quite, quite a few of them. So that is that absolutely stunning book. Um, yeah, definitely won't be cutting that up for for a while. Now I shall show you these. That's all the the books I've got. Um. I was watching a video from Jackie Chimes and she always uses such lovely uh, saris and seam binding and stuff and I did ask her um, what shops she uses because um, the shop I normally use for seam binding as, um, as in like holiday mode. So I, I'd kind of run out of things um, and I wanted things for you know closures wrap rounds and stuff so she gave me a few shops and um so i've ordered a few things from this perrin yarns so they are on oh they've got their own oh no that is etsy i was going to say i thought they got their own website then so yeah they are on etsy so that's perrin yarns and obviously on etsy it's all one one word so this is sorry still 10 meters and i thought i'd order it in green because i do do a lot of botanicals so beautiful colors that's why i do love sorry because it's you know every piece is is a little bit bit different and that's you know all in in one piece so i can cut it down to to what what i need so that's very handy she'll save its little bag in my i don't know if i'll be able to get it back in and then um jackie also said that she uses chiffon um so i've not used chiffon before so i thought i'd have a look at it let me just get these out before i cut myself or something okay, look at this beautiful lilac colour oh yeah I like that it's quite strong as well yeah that's a beautiful colour really soft lilac-y colour so at some point I will be doing some lavender themed 
things. So that's that's why I got the lavender and then got lemon. What did I get lemon for? Oh, I know. I think that's to go with my bee things, what, what I'm doing now. So that is them. Um, so yeah, I would definitely be visiting the shop again. I want to keep my eyes open to see if she does any beige or, or brown. Uh, sorry. I do want some of that so that is that and I've bought some if you've watched my previous um what I've bought I've bought a few of these now um off a lady I forget the shop's name I will put it in the in the description so these are uh, um material panels these ones are are bigger than the other ones that that I've bought so this six high and four and three quarters wide um oh it's got some lovely fraying on it so these are quite a mixed a mixed lot which which I thought was was good so you've got the wild flowers and rose and then a bird yeah, another bird, and then two butterfly ones. So they are beautiful, and I shall save those with my others, um, because I am going to use them on the fronts of of journals. So I do I do look in this lady's shop most most days because um, she's always got new things in but i think i need to stop buying the material panels now because i must have about 30 of them and i was going to say my last purchase but it but it's not quite so uh, a couple of months ago i had the the mini tim holtz scissors so i've had the next size up and I have been using them. <laughs> I just put them there. Um, so yeah, I don't know how I've lived with without these. Um, I've been fussy cutting with them. And um, yeah, they're fab. So sharp. So um, yeah, I'm going to buy the big ones. <laughs> the This kind of size. Um, cause these are just really cheap scissors what i bet you i've had them two years now um i bought a whole set of them and most of them the actual um handles have snapped on them i think this is the only surviving pair that i've got left so yeah i think next month i shall shall i have the the other um and not just because the tim holtz <laughs> I was obviously drawn to them because of that, but they are absolutely fabulous scissors. Uh, they are so, so strong. And you can get really close and just take really small slithers off things, which I've found with, you know, my cheap scissors, I've never been able to get that um, get that close. I'll tell you what else about these came yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we've gone from that to this um yeah one of my viewers asked me to do some faux faux stamps and when i've done them before i've done them with the pink and shears um and obviously these are great when you're doing a, a really big postage stamp but when you're doing a small postage stamp it, it's too zigzaggy so um it took me a while to to know what that was called and it's decored i'm guessing everybody knows apart from me <laughs> so um because when i first searched i was searching zigzag scissors and then i realized that these are then called pinking um i don't know if they're pinking shears or pinking scissors um so they use that on material don't need to stop it from from fraying um so yeah got myself some deco scissors um there was only a couple of pounds they don't feel super cheap but they don't feel great um i think i'm gonna have to be careful with them but um i remember you know my girls as as children having these type of scissors and they was really cheap um and these do feel a bit more you know they've got a bit of substance behind them so 
so that is that they was a couple of pound off um ebay no amazon um and decord so i will be doing some faux stamps um in the near future right are you ready for the biggie da, 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 da. it's definitely a big moment this is a purchase that i've ummed hard been in and out my basket as many times as the undercliff um i've watched reviews on it i've asked people i've oh, you know it's been one of them but i am now the proud owner of a fiskers precision trimmer oh i'm absolutely over the moon um I've, I've not opened it yet i'm a bit nervous <laughs> it's quite a a big a big thing i've no idea where i'm gonna store it i have heard it is is a little bit heavy to you know keep dragging in and out so it probably does need its its own its own space so up to yeah i've been doing you know most of my trimming on on just this this small thing um and when i do notebooks and that i do it with a metal roller and and a blade so i'm hoping because it it hurts my arms doing doing it with the with the blade so i'm hoping that this will be the answer it must be the answer <laughs> um there was 20 pounds off it in the week and <clears throat> like i say i have ummed and odd for the last two years about it um, and I always just thought, crack, it's a lot of money. What if I, you know, don't get my money's worth or it's something, you know, that you don't use. And I've not got space to have things that, that I don't use. Um, <laughs> so the things I buy, like they've, they've got to be things that, that I'm going to be using. Um, and then, you know, the, the price... It was more than I've ever wanted to pay for for something that cuts paper. Um, but yeah, there was twenty pounds off it in the week, and I thought I need I need a bigger trimmer. Um, so it, it then made it not much more expensive than kind of middle of the road um, prices. So. This is this is that. I'm, I'm so excited. I don't even want to want to open it. So that is me. That is what I've bought this month. Um, might not buy anything next month because I need to <laughs> just stop buying for a bit. So thank you very much for joining me, and I shall catch you again soon. Bye for now.